Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We thank you once again for giving us this opportunity to come together to meditate on God's Word and spend a few moments in prayer. We wrap up this series on assurance today. We talk about God's Word which says, I will be with you always. Isaiah chapter 43 was 1 to 4. But now thus says the Lord who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned nor shall the flame scorch you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Saviour. I gave Egypt for your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba in your place. Since you are precious in my sight, you have been honoured, and I have loved you. Therefore, I will give men for you and people for your life. In most seaports, there are special pilots that join into a coming ship to help it into the, into the port. These harbour pilots are known to understand the obstacles under the water, the currents and other details of the local port. Now the ship's crew need this, these harbour pilots with them because they know how to respond to any emergencies. In Isaiah 43, we find a similar description from God. The Lord guides our life through overwhelming borders of life. The way ahead is unexplored. It's dangerous to us. But God comes alongside us and reassures us. God states this command, do not fear, here and elsewhere more than 50 times. We, as people, are weak, vulnerable, and limited. But just imagine this for a second. God is with you. God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, is with you. The same God who is the supreme ruler of the entire universe, the same God who holds the power to protect you, He is not an impersonal God. God calls you by your name and He assures you and He says, You are mine. The Lord shows us tender compassion, spending time with us in the midst of our struggles. He carries us through. He knows what it is when we are weak and weary. The psalmist emphatically declares that even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil, for Thou art with us, Lord. He is Emmanuel, God with us. Jesus is always with us. It is a profound truth of the Christian faith that we are never alone. But the Lord God, our Saviour, continues to lead us and guide us. So if you feel you are in the midst of deep waters, Know that Jesus is with you and He will bring us to hope. Let's pray. Father, we thank You for this entire week and thank You for helping us to learn together. We pray, God, that You will enable us to walk with this assurance that Your Holy Spirit is with us, that You will never leave us nor forsake us, that You are going before us that, Lord, your presence is more than enough for us in our lives. Enable us, teach us, Lord, to trust in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.